In Canada, most older adults rely on personal vehicles to get around. But as people age, many lose their capability to drive altogether, limiting their access to essential destinations and seriously impacting their quality of life. By 2030, more than one in five people in Canada will be aged 65 or older. As our population ages, ensuring older adults can stay mobile becomes more important than ever. That's where public transit plays a vital role. Public transit offers a sustainable and affordable alternative to the car, one that can support independent mobility while preserving freedom and autonomy in older adults. Let's take a closer look at the everyday realities older adults face when using public transportation in Canada. Getting to and from transit stops or stations can be difficult. A Canadian study conducted by Transportation Research at McGill and funded by the NRC, shows that in larger cities with well-developed networks, transit may better meet older adults' needs. But in areas with less coverage and long walking distances, access to essential destinations is reduced. When transit systems lack universal accessibility, it can make using transit difficult or impossible for many older adults living with a disability. Infrequent and unreliable service, poor timing, and limited amenities at stations and stops reduces older transit users' confidence in the system and discourages regular transit use. The COVID-19 pandemic has increased concerns about exposure to disease transmission, making older adults hesitant to make trips using public transportation. Even when transit is available, older adults often perceive it as less convenient than driving. To better support older adults in using public transit, policy changes are needed. In the near term, increasing the number of bus stops and service frequency, especially during off-peak hours, can make transit more convenient and accessible for older riders. Over time, cities must invest in improvements to transit infrastructure. This includes adding more seating, heating, and shelter at stops and stations, as well as ensuring elevators and escalators are working and public restrooms are available. Clear and visible transit signage is also key in helping older adults navigate the system. Queen's Park Station. Doors will open on the left. Finally, educational campaigns can help older adults gain confidence in using transit. As cities adopt policies to support older adults like free transit fares, it's essential to evaluate whether these measures truly enhance independence, access, and quality of life. By designing public transit with older adults in mind, we create a system that works better for everyone. For more information and to read the full report, visit tram.mcgill.ca.